Hi there, I'm going to do a tutorial today on the Ring Brookless Bikini Carry, uh, which was created by my friend Mary Casanova, and she's already done tutorials on it, but um, in Spanish, so I thought I would do one uh, for my English speaking friends. Also, um, I found a tip where I discovered how to help make the ring lie flat. Um, depending on the direction of the passes going through the ring, it can sometimes lie a little, um, not so flat. So um, I'm gonna be using London Fog today because I'm getting ready to send it back to its home and this will be my last time using it before packing it up. So um, I'm going to, and I'm also using my demo gel. Um, for this carry, I'm going to go half distance, so here's the middle marker on my sternum, measure to my armpit, and then measure that distance. And then we will start the chest pass with the shorter side. So I'm gonna get the wrap on the baby doll here. I think that new middle position, or that new position I just found on the back of her neck and then I'm going to Superman toss by kind of leaning her chest onto my forearm and then putting her on my back. my seat. This demo doll is definitely too small for this carry. I would recommend a larger baby for something like this, but this is all I have for now. So she's going to get a little swallowed up inside the wrap because she's so little. But um, okay, so I've lowered her so that her knee is right on the bottom of my rib cage, really, because that's where this, this kind of bottom rail is going to end up being. Um, yeah. And then I've brought the shorter side, I think. Yeah, the shorter side under my arm, and we're going to put the ring on. Now when you're flipping the rails for the chest pass, it doesn't matter which direction you go, but we are going to do a flipped chest pass. So you could do it either direction, either direction is fine. I tend to do it the way that I do the class -like, classic reckless bikini carry um, because it's just muscle memory and it makes sense for me. So I took the bottom rail and I flipped it up against my body to bring the bottom rail up. So when you're doing this, make sure you secure the top rail and then, and then flip your chest pass and then keep holding this so that your baby is safe. this top rail. Well, the new top rail. Okay, so now I'm going to take this rail and distribute that.
of making that second seat with that bottom rail, the new bottom rail. Now in a regular reckless bikini carry, he would be tightening the rails a lot and he'd be leaving the middle section pretty much loose. This, you can tighten the middle section a little bit because we're not spreading it. The intersection with the regular reckless bikini carry is quite wide, or it should be. So you need to have some slack in there to help it spread across, um, but still hold its position. Um, but with the ring, this is gonna be a much smaller intersection, so it's okay to tighten in the middle a little bit. So I'm gonna do a little L pull there. Um, also a top rail L pull is really nice to do. I'm gonna redo my full L pull. Oh, and I'm also gonna tighten up this new bottom rail. So now, I tend to like to put this tail up here for right now. And then, here's the tricky part. So, first of all, figuring out which way the ring goes. And you just basically want to make sure that the ring slides up into this intersection here. Sometimes it takes me a couple tries. Sometimes it kind of wants to go that way and I can't figure it out, but it's got to go this way. So that's the first part. Make sure that you're going to be able to spread this out in there. The second part is this tail. Am I going to bring it over the ring and bring it up? or am I gonna bring it under the ring this way? So how do we know? And it really depends on how you flipped it before, but you wanna go the opposite direction of how this is moving over the wrap or over the ring. So this bottom section, this side is over the ring, this side is under the ring, right? So this tail, this chest belt should be the opposite and I'm gonna do it wrong first to show you what happens when you do it wrong so I on this side the wrap is going over so to do it wrong I'm gonna put this side over the ring and under and it will show you why that doesn't or just show you that that doesn't lie flat so let's just quickly pull this back. You can see from the side, this side is popping up and this side is digging in and we don't like that. So I could finish the carry like this and it would be okay. It's not gonna be structurally bad for the baby but it's not gonna feel so great. And I've done this before and I've even done TikToks where I looked back and I was like, Oh my gosh, I did that wrong. <laughs> um, but this part, this is popping out and this part is digging in. No good. So. When you're doing this shoulder to shoulder part. Oh, what happened here? Um, always remember to look at your chest pass. Because if you did it the other way that I did it, you would have to reverse this. But the way that you know, the way that you always know is the part that's going over the wrap here on this side, it should, or over the ring here. And this side should be going under the ring. So I'm going to go under. Perfectly flat. 
Let's start this. So now it's perfect and I'm going to finish the carry now. So pull this down, get all that slack out. And then I'm going to pass the top rail over baby's back. And then I'm going to secure that while I do with this slacky part and create the third seat for the baby. Just like with Reckless Bikini Carry, Christina's Reckless, the traditional version of those, both of these tails will go under baby's leg to give you leg passes. I lately, for a while now, have preferred to keep that above. It's my personal preference my baby. Um, it just feels better on my body when I don't have the leg passes. Maybe it's because he's longer. Um, I'm not really exactly sure why it feels better for me, but luckily he's not really a leg straightener, so it's not been a problem to do that. But if you have a baby who likes to straighten their legs, likes to pop the seat, you're going to want to bring these tails under the leg and this baby's legs are so little and when you do that flip the rail so that this part kind of comes up between you like that this baby is just so small like i said she's gonna get swallowed up in this carry because she's too small for this carry but You could also, if you have both a leaner and a leg straightener, you could just do one side, not the other. This is the uh, classic form of this carry. Where you make the last two passes, leg passes. grab these two rails or this rail this I'm gonna spread it in this direction and then I'm gonna take this one kind of fold it that way try to spread it a little bit but it's pretty much good to go double knot it to finish it off um, you can see the ring is flat. It is not popping out on one side and digging on the other. And you can also see here that we have the portion of the wrap that's going over the ring is on this side, and the portion of the wrap that's going over the ring is on this side. So they're on opposite sides. The part that's going under is on this side, the part that's under is on this side. So that is the key to the ring lying flat. Uh, thank you. Hope that helps.